All right. So of course I was like, wait a second. I'm way past my start date. I'm like, wait a second. I'm like, I'm just getting into the music because I usually do it a lot anyway. I'm like, holy crap. But of course, we're back with some more Doka news. Of course, we got the Super Saiyan Super Vegeta EZA. And of course, we got another Super Vegeta EZA, which is this guy right over here. Of course, thank you to Doken Official, and of course, thank you to the Doken Wiki, of course, for all the info and news, and updates and everything, of course, but yeah, Vegeta, his easy A, who oh, I called it, me and my friend, we were talking, I was like, this Vegeta might get his easy A, him transforming trunks, um, they just check androids, can get one, I was spot on with this, I was like, holy crap, I'm glad they did it, though, this, this Vegeta, I heard they didn't hold back for him, which is really, really good, because he, when he came out, he was disgusting, even, I think he aged maybe, like, a little bit, because I still see, I didn't see, people use them that much anymore maybe once or twice on a team out of like a whole year of last year and this year maybe but that's pretty much it honestly i didn't see no one really run him in that like that anymore it's, it just goes amazing though pure saiyans and master evolution i think he no no what about master evolution was it him or was it was it him or evolution blue vegeta one of the two I, no it wasn't him i can't remember or whatever it's been so long, but yeah, of course, um, and also, like I said, we do get another EZA in the form of this Super Vegeta right here as well, it's good that he's getting another EZA, another side unit getting an EZA, that's really, really good though, of course, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started though and talk about them though, because they both seem, I haven't seen this Vegeta's info just yet though, but I haven't seen, I haven't seen this Vegeta's info yet either, but yeah, let's just go over it and talk about it though, because, um, actually, you know what, let's start with this Vegeta, honestly, I see, you know what, it's, you know, I want to start with the main boss of the team, so yeah, let's go over him, we'll zoom in, I am still coming from a little bit of cold though, so I, of course, I don't sound like the best, best though, but when I said I zoomed in 200%, actually, that was really good. Um, I'm still coming from like a little cold though, so I, I probably don't sound 100%, but I'm good though. I feel better. My, honestly, my body feels better. My nose still a little bit stuffy if you can still hear it in the video. I know you guys probably can't because it was the same no matter what. But, um, no, I have been feeling better though. I feel better. What turns out right now for global, um, at some recording. I could try to get that. I'm probably just, I'm honestly, I'm probably going to just upload the video today, honestly, just because, you know, I want to get out and everything for you guys. It's easy. I've been waiting for a long time. It seems to look, it looks, it seems really fun. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started, though, of course. He does Master Evolution of Pure Saiyan's Key 3. Oh, that's a 170. Not bad. Raise defense up. I heard they didn't hold back for him either, which is good. This guy did not, they didn't, they didn't really should have gone out for him. Even for like a Saiyan, no matter what, even for this unit, they should have gone out, all out for him. And for this celebration, I'm glad, though. I'm glad we got a new Vegeta. We got, I'm glad we got this guy getting easy A because he, Definitely deserved one. And then I think he came out, what, 2022 for Global? 2021 for JP? Which is crazy. He's almost, what, two, three years old? Which is crazy. But yeah, I remember when he came out. I was like, what the freak? So he does... Okay, so let just go again. Let me go back to the scope because I'm, I'm getting way too excited for this. Um... <clears throat> Mastered Evolution, a Pure Saiyan's Kid 3, also that's a 170. A super attack effect, raises defensive for one turn, immense damage, all attacks become crits for one turn. I, I can't forget, I think he did that originally though, so I'm, yeah. He was already a crit destructor, destructor anyway. So now his new passive does Key 2, attack defensive 200%, disgusting, Guard gets all attacks for 5 turns at the start of a turn, plus additional attack defensive 100% when performing a super attack, plus additional attack defensive 50% with each super attack performed up to max um, 100%. Plus additional attack defense of 50% within the same turn. After receiving an attack, plus an additional attack defense up. 50% guard against all attacks within the same turn after receiving an attack. Lunge an additional super attack with his enemy who has so besides so junior or max. Besides them. Stuns enemy um stuns enemies attacked by the um the character super attack. So yeah, again, they just went all out for him though. Honestly, he's really good. But what he can do, like I said, they just buffed him up a little bit more because he really didn't need too much for him. His passive, he was already pretty much broken. So I'm, I'm glad. That, like I said, they made him. They made him just. They did. They didn't hold back for him. Like I said, even for a same day unit, even if it wasn't a same day EZA, yeah, he. They should have went all out for him anyway though, because he is a legit a good unit. Now he probably honestly. Maybe top five, top ten TUR in the game. I could probably say that honestly at this point, because you know he crits. He, you know, I mean, for his like super attack effect, but he like he crits for one trade. Boomer's gonna be critting all the super attacks though. So I think people went full additional, or full dodge for him. I can't remember or not. I think it's full additional. Because the more super attacks you get, the more powerful. Like I said, he's pretty much. Oh yeah, I think when he came out, I said he was like pretty much a just a STR evolution blue Vegeta, pretty much. And he pretty much is just a super, a super, literally a super saiyan version of. He's literally just. Uh, yeah, he pretty much is Evolution Blue Vegeta, you know, besides, you know, just make him a Super Saiyan, honestly. This is what you gotta do, because he gets more attacks, it builds up him. He, I mean, he's already been building up from the start anyway, maybe like turn two or three, he's probably gonna be like pretty good, or four or five, honestly. I say when they really get deep into it, though, but I think around like two or three, he'll probably start like building up, he'll probably... 
Ugh, sorry, my ear, I had to pop my ear. It's been like that last few days. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be like that. He's gonna be building up, um, super attacking, critting, doing a lot of damage. Which he's and he's a damage dealer. He's a brawler, so they know what they did with him. They cooked with him. They did really good. Honestly, like I said, they didn't need to do too much for him though. He's simple. He's easy to get. I can understand what he does. He, he's good. That's all I gotta say. Good, fashion out, perfect, blah. Because after this, I think Gold was gonna get like what? I don't know for Gold, but the next celebration should be Hirogan and Goku. Who's into Goku? And that should be Golden Week. So that'll probably, um, we'll probably see our next big EZA then. Because on Super Vegeta, the AGL one, he's a really old unit in the game. So if he gets this one, that means him and Goku should be getting an EZA soon. Maybe in like. Wait, now it's in March. Maybe for Goku Day, get that STR Goku and Nimit Goku EZA. Did he get already, wait, did he get his EZA? No, he didn't. He just got his awakening. Of course, on the Vegeta. He does a lot too, though, honestly. But let's, let's see what he can do, honestly. Let's see what he can do. I mean, yeah, his, his is a little bit shorter. Because it has the leader skill. I think his leader skill is just like AGL key 3 all sets of 90, all sets of 90, uh, all sets of 90%. So that's not really crazy. I can't remember what category. Because they don't put the leader skills for these. They just like the super dark fucking up. For Doku Wiki, they don't put those. They only post it for the u new units. They don't post like links or anything. For like newer units, though, links definitely need to be factored in. I want to say I know you probably just go to Wiki yourself, but links should be factored for new newer units that release. For this, definitely, definitely we need the leader skill. Even though I know it's like luster, but I'm gonna talk about it and go for the leader skill for like people who actually you know want to see that and stuff like that. Basically, me because I just think the leader skill was easy to actually out and everything. I know because they don't really matter. <sighs> Well, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, I still want to see something. But yeah, let's go. Uh, so, 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 so super tech effect. Supreme damage still super tech for nine. Um, I turns all that crap. Supreme damage still um still super attack. There is the tech of ninety for nine turns. Nine turns. That's good. Sir. So do passive attack defense at one fifty plus additional attack defense of one hundred percent. Only performing a super attack. If HP fifty percent or less, which you'll probably get the honestly. Performs a crit, launch additional attack. That's a great chance of becoming a super attack, which is damage by thirty percent plus additional damage reduction by twenty percent. HP seventy percent or less plus additional damage reduction of twenty percent when HP is fifty percent or less plus an additional um damage reduction of twenty percent when HP thirty percent or less. All allies get Q one attack defense. Um. 25% for AGL, as tip or physical type. Um, no, for yeah, Q1 and attack and defense up. Um, 25% for AGL, STR, and physical type. Get two key attack defense up 25% in addition. And then, do that actually could come in handy. He actually is a pretty handy unit though for AGL, STR, and physical. You have a lot of good sands on that team, so you know, if he's usable for like a like I said, for the um, for like for LR EZAs, I tend to like you know, do like free to play ones and stuff like that. You know, LR campaigns in the future, you know, he could be a candidate for that though. Um, but he's a summable unit though, so it wouldn't make sense though, honestly. And they put him like maybe in the bottle shop maybe if they decided though, but LR like LR campaign easy as are usually um maybe like free to play for right now anyway, so um I mean, he could be a good side easy for like it was oh no, I was thinking about no. I think about the recommended easy A's. He actually probably could be a good candidate for that though, like all the stuff he can do. Like for what he can do and everything, like he can be a good candidate for those side easy for those um easy aids that you require for um units. So he can be honestly I just remember that I was just thinking of that. Yeah, he could be useful for that though. That honestly would be really nice and cool for him though. That'd be really, really good. He can help out a lot though. I feel like he could probably help out a lot. Like I'm not like, oh my gosh, he's good, but he, he could be a useful I mean, he is good. I think he'd be a good useful unit. Like a baby version of pretty much this Vegeta, honestly, which makes sense. Um, but in general though, I think he could probably help out a lot of teams and like with you know, if he's required for an easy A. He probably about a lot of teams, he could probably do some good damage, he could probably help get some good he's a support unit and he's got about other people and he's gonna help out himself too. That's what I like units like that. They're built to help out support. And the damage dealing unit his damage might probably take a little bit of a toll, but I mean I mean, it's, it's a factor in like that. That's how it is with these games, you know, support, damage, you can't do both. But you can, but it's also like, it's gonna be a his damage might be a double-edged sword because, you know, he's a support unit, he's gonna support himself, he's gonna be supporting his team. But I think he's gonna be really good though. He can help out, help, like I said, help out a lot of good EZAs. You never know. Like the Italians are usually really handy and really good for these even easy A's. But yeah, pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over today though for Vegeta. Pretty short of a video though, just like I said, simple and easy. He's good. Vegeta's actually really good too. Like I say, he can probably help out a lot of good um, easy A's in the future and stuff like that. Of course, hey, you never know, like I said. But yeah, see you guys there though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. I'll go to Kikin. Now we're doing Watch hands. God bless all people. I'll put wearing masks on. So people are really easy to get If you can't, go sign some guys. Copy them. Share all my friends on Discord. So if you can wear it, guys are awesome. We can think about all this info though. Of course, like to hit again. Very simple, very easy, like I said today. Pretty good, pretty simple. I like it all. It's real good. Uh,
See you guys again now. Peace out. Bye.